Okay, I was, I was just going to say, this is going to be quite difficult for me to do because there isn't a lot of words. Damn you. There isn't a lot of words for me to be able to demonstrate how fucking horrendous this movie is. Now, this really cries out to fans of the show. If you're fans of the show, this is really going to piss you off because the movie fucking enraged me and I grew up watching DVZ. So, yeah. First off, let's hit the pros. Let, let's see what they did right. And uh, It's going to be a very fucking short list. Let's see. Three of the main cast. Now, three of the main characters were actually portrayed correctly. They were actually um, portrayed as they were in the show, being Master Roshi, Yamcha, and Goku. So, Master Roshi was a dirty old pervert, played surprisingly well by Chao Young Fat. Uh, Yamcha was a money grubbing scoundrel, um, was played surprisingly well. I don't know who the guy's name was, but at least he was Asian, so that was, you know, a step in the right direction. Goku was played adequately up until about three quarters of the way through the movie, and then he turned into an overzealous, buffed up fuckhead. Otherwise, reminding you of Vegeta more than Goku, but yes, um, so he was played correctly. Unfortunately, he was played by some American douche who I've never fucking seen in any other movie, and ugh. Um, but that's about it. That's the only good part of that movie. Um, so, let's head on to the cons. Yay! Let me die in sight some more. Ugh. I swear to God, see when I was watching this movie, I felt my sphincter release at least five times. Um, the only other movie, sorry, to enrage me this much was uh, Starship Troopers 3 Marauder, which is another movie I'm going to be doing a teardown of. <sighs> Casting cons. Okay, first off, we're going to hit for the, the, the low ball ones, the ones that aren't quite so bad as the one at the top of the chart. So, let's start off with Chi-Chi. Uh, everybody who knows, who's ever watched the show knows that Chi-Chi was a warrior princess. She was pretty tough. And in the movie, they sort of transformed that tough warrior princess into a little skanky-ass cheerleader-type wannabe. Doesn't really come across as a warrior princess. More like some bitch who's really into Taekwondo and really loves, you know, flashing her bets at guys. Because, I mean, at the start of the movie, she was hanging about with the jocks. And that's just how bad this is. This is turned out from a Dragon Ball movie into some fucking retarded teen flick. So, yeah, I was kind of annoyed at that. Next one up is Bulma. Okay, Bulma played another by another American fucking tard. Not Asian in the slightest. Um, and yes, apparently Bulma in the show was a bit of a coward. She only ever used a gun once. She was more into using her technology and her brain. But of course, in the show, they've turned her into some fucking... Uh, in the movie, sorry. They've turned her into some fucking Lara Croft wannabe. Some gun-toting artard who thinks, Hey, I'm gonna shoot people because I can't fight. I don't know kung fu. I'm gonna shoot you with a baseball bullet. Ah. You know, that fucking sort of... And I, I don't see where the hell that came from. Because Bulma never had any proficiency with weapons. So, I'm kind of perplexed at where that fucking decision came from. Next up is the king motherfucker biatch that fucked this movie in the ass, something severe, was Piccolo. Now, in the show, King Piccolo, evil King Piccolo, was a, you know, big freaking threat to everybody, you know. Kicked ass, was destroying worlds and shit like that, you know. Um, but in the movie, ah, it just, it, it pains me to, to have to think about his acting, because... Unfortunately, I always assumed that when they were going to do Piccolo, they were going to use a black guy. Not to be racist or nothing, but I always thought someone with a deeper voice, someone with a bit more muscles, you know, so someone with a bit more of a fucking presence. But no, who did they choose? They chose a lanky streak of white Caucasian piss that couldn't fucking act his way out of a wet paper bag. I am indeed of talking, of course, of James Fuckhead Masters. Yes, the fucking white asshole who played Spike and Buffy. What the fuck were they thinking? I, I, I don't really comprehend where that hell that decision came from. You know, what? actually, when I saw who was actually on the casting list, I seriously thought, hmm, breaking my kneecaps would be a more enjoyable experience than watching this movie. In fact, I would rather try and give a fucking black hole a rem job. I would, in fact, try and fucking tongue kiss a bear. This, this is just fucking retarded. I don't understand where this came from. I, I mean, I s severely think the director maybe watched one episode of Dragon Ball and thought, hmm, I like this franchise. You know what I like doing to franchises I like? Bastardizing them and raping them in the ass with fucking blunt instruments. Because that's what they seem to have done here. I mean, not only was the casting fucking atrocious, they decided to turn the Kamehameha into a way of resuscitating people. Oh, what the, what the fuck was that? Right, Goku apparently got his fucking ass raped through this movie. 
and then uh, Master Roshi had to revive him using the Kamehameha. How the fuck does that work? It's supposed to be a turtle destruction wave. A way of killing people. What the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna start netpicking now because, I mean, there's portions where they give Goku a sword, which is retarded. Goku never used a sword. Gohan used a sword, but Goku never used a sword. He had his fucking pole. He had his red staff. Um, there's no mention of the Nimbus. There's, ah, oh, just, they fucking completely ignored series staples. I mean, they mentioned the Kamehameha, like I said, but it was retarded. It didn't look anything like it should have. Um, uh, let's see, there was mention of, there was no mention of any of the fucking proper characters. I mean, there was no Krillin, which I never understood, because Krillin was like Goku's best fucking friend, so where the fuck was he? Uh, there was no, uh, Tien, no Chao Su. There was fucking okay, no of the basic characters that were ever in the show. None of them. No Puar, no Oolong, no fucking, uh, Korin. Nothing. Not even fucking Yajirobe. So, I'm slightly confused. And not only that, but just the attacks looked retarded. See see when you're, you're sitting there and you're watching an episode of DBZ and they're flying up there and they're firing fucking shit at each other? It looks awesome. And it's an animated show with very low budget. So how in the fuck did they manage to screw up a live-action movie with a Hollywood budget so fucking badly? I mean, at the end battle sequence, it looks like a really bad wire foo movie. The attacks don't look proper. They look like fire. They look like they're throwing blue fire at one another, or red fire at one another. Kamehameha never looked like fire. It was a beam. Okay, it was a beam. That How, how fucking difficult is that to comprehend? Jesus, I could do a better job using fucking FX. God damn it. But, okay, I'm going to continue nitpicking again. Sorry, it has to be done. Hey, right, there's also a sequence in it where Goku transforms into Ozaru. Now, anybody who's ever seen the show knows that Ozaru was a big-ass fucking Godzilla-sized fucking ape who fired laser beams out of his mouth. You know, like, blah, laser beam, blah, laser beam. You know, it looked cool. And he would smush things, and he was out of control, and he didn't know that he accidentally killed his grandpa and stuff like that. Okay. And the movie, when he transforms into Ozaru, I'm doing quotation marks right now, you can't fucking see it, but I'm doing quotation marks. When he transforms into Ozaru, it's not some giant, big fucking ape, out of control, destroying shit. And there's no even fucking any laser beam, which is retarded. But, um, he turns into a guy who really severely badly needs a trim. He needs shaved. That's, that's what this is. This, this guy doesn't even look like a monkey. Okay, he doesn't look like an ape, he looks like a chimp. That's, that's kind of what they're going for here wearing parts of Goku's clothes, which are just retarded as all hell. So many fucking holes in this movie that if you've ever seen the show, you're just sitting there going, WHY? Fucking WHY? I would have more of an enjoyable time going outside, going outside, taking a magnifying glass, shining on the sun and burning my own fucking head. I would, you know, I would actually enjoy more hurling myself off a craggy cliff and seeing how many bones I broke on the way down. This movie is just fucking atrocious. Anybody who says any different obviously needs to be lobotomized. Because if you've ever seen the show, you know how fucking much of a bitch slap this is for the fans. I mean, for years I watched DBZ and I was hoping, you know, maybe this time they'll do a live action movie. They'll do some of the fucking uh, sagas that we've loved so much, like the Frieza saga, the Cell saga. Maybe not so much Boo, because that was kind of stupid, but hey. And they finally get around to doing it, like 13 years after the show stopped sh fucking, you know, you know, being shown on our networks. And what did they do? They give the show a massive reach around with a rhinestone glove and crush its balls. That's what they do. They go outside, they fucking throw the show into a pool of sharks while coating it in fucking blood. That's, that's really what they do. It's nothing short of visual rape. And anybody who's a fan of the show who watches this, you'll leave the fucking cinema feeling violated. I fucking felt violated. I watched that fucking uh, pirated copy and I felt fucking violated. I was actually more interested in the people's heads bobbing up and down rather than the fucking movie. That's how bad it was. Never be fooled into believing that this is Dragon Ball. There's ja fuck it. It doesn't even qualify as a Dragon Ball movie. Seriously. No. Sorry. That's it. I've had enough. I can't fucking do this anymore. I'm getting a red mess descending. So, um, I hope you enjoy the teardown. I'm doing another one shortly, uh, probably next week at some point, on uh, Starship Troopers 3 Marauder. So, yeah. I can only take so much anger within a few days without having a break. 
because otherwise my brain will ignite and fucking flaming brains will fire at my ears. So, I'll see you guys later. Have a good day and uh, peace out.